When was the search and seizure actually carried out? This one is just now. 8.30 to 10.45. 8? 8.30 to 10.45. Yes. The photographs had been taken before, mothers? 8.30 in the morning or uh, in the evening? Eve evening, mothers. The body was found in the morning at 9.30. That's right. It photographs were taken. Once the body was removed, mothers, for post-mortem, then only, mothers. And by whom? There is some relevance. Therefore, my Lord, I would like my learned friend to ask. There is some, some relevance. Mothers, we have photographs from 12.45 p.m. onwards of everything that happened. We have the original with us. Now, during the course of the previous hearings, and therefore we, I, I think though the investigation is going on, we can share this because you've all said it openly. Yes, ma'am. That there is evidence to, that there is a CCTV footage to indicate what time the accused yes. enters the seminar room and what time he's exiting the seminar correct, room. Correct, correct. Right? This is yeah. shared with us. Now, Obviously, therefore, there would be CCTV, uh, CCTV footage after 4.30 in the morning throughout the day. Yes, there now, will be. Has the CCTV footage in its entirety been handed over to the CBI? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes we have taken. Yes. We have taken. You have taken the CCTV have taken, footage. Yes. But... Uh, we will. We had to reconstruct the scene because of the distance. But well, then, uh, Mr. Part Mr. Solicitor, how do you explain this uh, statement in your affidavit at Small Roman Three at page fourteen? Just see the last sentence. Uh, my report, my lords. Yes. Yes. Page fourteen, my lords. This is one para above seven. Yes, well, the SOC was apparently visiting. Have you handed over, as the Calcutta police handed over to the CBI, the entire footage of the proceedings which were taking, which took place between 8.30 p.m. and 10.45 p.m.? Because CBI seems yes, to have... Yes, yes, yes. What is shared with us... Is about 27, 27 minutes. 27 minutes, they say. The four clippings totaling duration to 27 minutes and the proceedings conducted from 1706 that is 56 to 2245 hours mr sibal said that well, you have actually I, I, conducted from 8 30 pm that is 20 i'm just taking instructions yes yes Mothers are yeah, all right. Two separate things, mothers. Seizure 8.30 to 10.45. The video of okay. that. Seizure 8.30 to 10.45 given. Then, mothers, in parts, the videos have been given. In parts, there was some tick. CCTV in hard disk, in parts, completely given, mothers. There was some technical glitch. It was stored in part, but given in full. I've given it. So it's, uh, in this context, I need to, my lord, uh, come in, my lord, here. Because there is something, my lord, which, according to me, is very, very serious, my lord. My lord, uh, I want a flap. My lord, we have the forensic examination report. I will not read it, my lords. 
But one thing, my lord, is admitted. When the girl was found at 9.30, but I'm sorry, but uh, her jeans were removed and uh, even the undergarments were removed and were lying somewhere nearby. So she was in a semi-nude condition. It is also an admitted position now that there were uh, injury marks on the body and other uh, Lord, areas. Now, your lordships may kindly see the report. Give me copies. And this, my lord, uh, this is a for it, my lord, uh, your lordships may mark. They have taken the samples. They have sent it to an FSL in West Bengal. And this is the result. And CF, CFSL. CFSL, West Bengal. Central lab, not, yes, not yes, correct, FSL. Correct, correct. correct. I'm, I'm not on anything else. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, I have only one copy right now. Please see this one. This is serious. And the CBI has taken a decision to send the samples collect, my Lord, uh, to Ames and other my Lord, Central Forensic Science Laboratory. The person enters, the body parts are not covered, the lead girl is made nude, there are injury marks, and this is the result of FSL. Therefore, who took the samples becomes relevant. Kindly, my Lord, have a look. We'd like a status report to be submitted to us by next Monday. So, Sibyl, it's advisedly we should not be yes, referring yes, to course. what has emerged during the course of course, process. Of course, I, I, yes, absolutely. Uh, let the CBI proceed on the basis of uh, what they are now exploring, sure. the leads which they are pursuing. Sure. We'll keep it now on next Monday. So that's it's, a, a, it's a holiday, it's a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Only, only a minute, only, so only a minute, uh, Mr. Lord, there is one IA which we have filed, IA 200162. Lord, where? Lord, uh, your lot of where please do not uh, require. Well, before my learning friend says that, I just want. Only a minute. Uh, well, Mr. Before Mr. my learning friend mind. takes up, just hold on. If you don't mind, sir, uh, let, let me just show. Yeah. No, it's on the previous What's matter. It? We'll just pass a short order on this. Lord, uh, the uh, lady. I just, uh, I just, one second. We'll, we'll come back to you in a moment. Let's clarify this part. Yes. Uh, a status report has been, uh, a status report dated so and so has been filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Good stuff. Uh, having produced the report, it appears that the investigation uh, is in progress. Good stuff. We direct the CBI to file a fresh status report uh, by the next date of hearing. Full stop. List on so and so for considering the fresh status report to be filed by the CBI. So we take it up on Monday for uh, sorry, Tuesday, for considering the status report, which would be then filed by the CBI. See, let's see what happens between now and there's a lot of what has been collected during the past of course of the last 10 days is subject to further verification. And uh, we'll also investigate, my lord, who collected the samples because this. Uh, uh, no, it's not. And we, not, we, will, we will send we stop to you, to nor are we guiding the CBI that we want a particular line of investigation to correct. be conducted. Correct. CBI is doing it. You have flagged issues in the status report. You tell us next Monday yeah, what further emerges. This also on record, the re uh, report of the FSL. We'll return this back to you. Why should we return it right now? To whichever way, my lord, comments. Uh, we'll return that back to you. Just yes. one more thing. Just my lord, my out of my lord, the lady. The first, we'll retain only the second status report on the record. The rest of the papers we'll return back to you. My lord, there are three lady companies, my lord, of SICISF. Lord, they are not providing the accommodation to them. They have to travel, my Lord, from CISF camp, which is one and a half hour away from the st uh, state. My Lord, mm -hmm. thereafter, my Lord, uh, there are several things which we have requested. It is order dated 22nd. Lord, we are, my Lord, almost 50 plus, 15 plus days down the line. My Lord, we have provided, in fact, if your Lordship looks at our note, we have provided all that they wanted us to provide, everything that they wanted, just... Give it to my the three companies, the three companies uh, yes, of women yes. constables yes, and who are guarding the accommodation for college. women. Where are they presently housed? Well, as I just show to your lordship's mother. Kindly see.
No, can, can I have at least that? Yeah, yeah, we'll just give it to you. Yes. And I'll also share what is not provided so that you... Just give it to you. At least okay. henceforth you go. Uh, I mean, instantly see, to provide. Kindly see the accommodation. Yes. Uh, KM CT day school, 2.6 kilometers, 13.13 minutes away. One company proposed things. One company, 54 women personnel. Indira uh, Maitri uh, Shishu Kalyan Hospital, six minutes away. One company, 54 women personnel. No, when? When? Because These have been provided. Since General weeks. three flats in RMO quarters within so and so on site, 20 for 25 personnel. Currently, 20 CIFS personnel are staying in two flats of RMO quarters within, uh, within the, hospital. the hospital, and the rest of the CIFS personnel are commuting from 12 kilometers away. And the school and Indira Maitri Shishu Kalyan Hospital were undergoing construction, and therefore, the these are identified by the CISF themselves, Malal. So we put them there. And most of the state police officers deployed by so-and-so come from far off places like Police Training Academy, Howrah, which is 22 kilometers away, Bodyguard Lines, which is 12 kilometers, and Police Training School, which is 10 kilometers. So, Malal, I mean, over. This is my inform instruction. And as on our status reports, Malal, it sets out everything. No, as on 10.30 today, Malal, this is my instruction. No, 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 but we are telling you. have a look at this, Malal. This is, uh, this we should not be fighting on this, Malal. The CISF, therefore, exactly. We requested for handheld metal it. detectors. We requested for door size metal detectors. Everything, Other everything is provided. They provided that after two weeks, but this is no, 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 not we provided. Let's have a well. look at this. Just a second. What is now remaining to be provided? Mr. Sonita, so you have seen this. They say for housing one company of women personnel consisting of 54 persons, uh, they have provided at KMCP Day School, which is 2.6 kilometers. So kindly have a look at 10.30. At 10.30, this is well, yet Let the registrar of the High Court go and see, Malaj. Yes. Let 10.30, yes. Malaj. This is at 10.30. Let him go and see. I don't want, Malaj. I'm not enjoying the can we just, just can we uh, look at this for a moment, please? Yes, please. Accommodation for one company provided in three locations as below. RMO quarter, Ajikor hospital, 20 persons, KMCP school, 30 persons, Indira Maitri Southern, 30 right. persons. Likely to be, like to be handed right. over by evening today. Two companies are yet to be provided. Yet to be provided. Individuals, okay. 90 um, Lord, uh, 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 officers. A total of three companies of CISF personnel has been deployed for the security at Hajikor Medical College and Hospital. Full stop. Uh, Mr. Kapil Sibbal, the, the, the state of West Bengal has in its submission indicated that provision for housing the personnel has been made at thus colon in case we have page one to tabulate the chart level uh, Prima face it appears from the above tabulation that the uh, prima face don't say prima face it appears from the tabulation uh, in the statement which has been placed on the record by the Union government, on the other hand, it has been indicated that accommodation for one company has been provided in three locations, namely at bracket one, RMA quarter, dash RG call hospital, bracket 20 persons, two, KMCP school, dash 40 persons, semicolon, and bracket three, Indira Matri Southern, uh, three, uh, bracket 30 persons and that the premises are likely to be handed over by the uh, in, in, by the evening today it stop uh, in order to obviate any uh, logistical difficulties comma we direct that uh, an officer of the nominated a sufficiently senior officer of the home department nominated by the state of West Bengal and a senior officer of the CISF at the spot shall jointly uh, liaise so as to ensure that all the three companies of the CISF personnel which have been deployed at the spot are duly provided for accommodation in the vicinity uh, at par 
with what has been stated in the tabulated position set out above. Full stop. Next. In the event, uh, in the event, in the event that any further full stop arrangements have been made uh, for uh, providing uh, six buses, four trucks, and three uh, light motor vehicles. Full stop. Uh, the two officers shall ensure that all requisitions, that necessary requisitions which are made by the CISF are duly complied with by the by 5 p.m. today. Full stop. Necessary gadgets for security purposes shall likewise be arranged no later than by 9 p.m. Uh, today. No, no, that's that's as a yeah. matter of fact, this is also provided, must have been provided tomorrow, yesterday or day after. I don't wish to trivialize the magnitude of the now, problem I am dealing one, with. One further thing I now. Say, but no, I, have, no, I have three no. issues that I wish to place before, before you. Before we hear you on those issues, Mr. Sibal, uh, what steps have been taken by the state of West Bengal? For, because we had said that pending the finalization of the recommendations of the National Task Force, uh, we would like the state of West Bengal uh, to immediately put into place necessary measures which would bring into being some yes. sense of yes. security and we have uh, got a report Manu, from the health department and provision of adequate measures for the doctors yes, yes. nurses and the paramedical staff yes yes Manu. status report status report that we have filed Manu. the health secretary make a prayer and let the competence of the autopsy surgeon be also involved within part of the investigation and also they had offered money so that they can be not speak in tune of the police this should also be within the purview of the investigation. That's my humble opinion. Look, we need not pass any separate order because what you are saying is already a part of the status report that the CBI is looking into all these aspects. I would not appreciate not. just one thing that this postmortem could not have taken place after six o'clock in the evening. There are standing instructions. Everything, my will just kindly take the postmortem report once and just give me two minutes. I will show you a lot, ships how this entire investigation has been compromised. After 6 o'clock in the evening, a post-mortem cannot be conducted anywhere in India and in the state of Bengal when it is a rape and murder. There has to be a noting of the civil surgeon on the post-mortem report that the Deputy Commissioner of Police or the Commissioner of Police has certified it, then it has to go to the superintendent, superintendent certifies it, and then sends it to the post-mortem doctors. These three post-mortem doctors, one of whom is a professor, of forensics, I don't know this, but still, what is the reason? The reason was to get rid of the body. What Justice Partywala was continuously asking, the GD entry number 576, I will ask them to show Form 27, and I'll answer Justice Partywala's questions in one minute. Form 27, please. Form 27 is the first information report. In the first information report, there are various columns. Column three, C2 gives the GD entry number. Column C. C2 gives the GD entry number by which the FIR was started. The FIR was started by GD entry number 577. The UD case was 576, as pointed out by Justice Partywala. So, it was registered at 11.40 in the night, 45 in the night. Marad, in the history. So that, that was and, the last time also. In the history, Marad, in my last 27 years in my career, I have never come across a case a seizure takes place prior to the lodging of the FIR. The FIR has been registered at 2330 hours. Yes. yes. Now, there was a previous FIR. Along with the FIR has been suppressed. If you see, I will show it. Three doctors sign off on it. Anod, I will show on the. 6, 10 to 7, 10. Let, One, let him say. Let him complete his submission. Let body arrive. 6, 10. Mr. Council, please complete your submission. Yes. Anod will kindly take. One. Marad will kindly take section on the, just tell us on, uh, on, on the facts, what are you saying? Marad will kindly take the postmortem report and compare it with the UD case which was started. In the postmortem report, you will also see whether the, the clothes of the victim were produced before the postmortem uh, doctor. The entire, the genes, the top, the undergarments, everything was produced or not. Because as per the, I'll show the notification, 
They have to be sealed by the postmortem doctor and handed over to the investigating officer. If your lordship sees in the top whether the clothes were sent to the investigating officer of the UD case by the postmortem doctor, I will kindly ask them to just give a copy of it. Of the postmortem. Yeah. Postmortem. Yeah. Postmortem. Yeah. postmortem. Allow me to take yeah. over. We've handed over the postmortem. We have seen the postmortem report. Just show us the postmortem report. We've handed it over. Yeah. Either the state of <laughs> Bengal or the CBI. Yeah. Well, we saw it last time, but since yes. he's making a point, let's appreciate what the point is. So the parents went to. They had a list of belongings, including the parents. So, so bottom rip. report doesn't even say at what time it is conducted. Give yes. it to us. Ah, that, that, I'm sorry, that took place. Yeah. It says that at the time everything is there. I don't know why you're making these. Please tell us what the time of death is. It says. Just one second. Condition of the of the subject, Miller, your lordships will find on the left hand side. Lordships will kindly see at the top. First will be the videograph. Conducted by whom? No designation. Who is he? From where did he come? Nothing. Was it was the CD on a rewritable CD or was it a non rewritable CD? It has to be mentioned on the first line of the postpartum report. The judicial magistrate was present during postmortem call for his report. All the three doctors are part of the five female doctors were present. All are part of the North Bengal lobby the family. Don't, don't, don't discuss such things here. Please. Marad will kindly see the second line. It has to be at four degrees centigrade. The postmortem report refers to Talap PS UD case number 861. Yes. Dated 9 August 2024. Yes. That's where the mystery lies because between 2.30 in the afternoon, when they say the GD entry was lodged, that is 5.65 and 11.30 in the night, there are only 10 GD entries in Talap police station. Must you kindly appreciate that? See, between 2.30 and in the afternoon, and this started way back in 1953, was the first case in Bengal where GD entries are manufactured. Know that, what do you think? Everything will be clear. The judicial magistrate witnessed all this. Call for that report. Not on magistrate or these. I say it makes no difference. Give me a minute. My Lord, please have a every police station has a natural death. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sir, kindly have a look at left hand side bottom the finding. In the case of wounds, not note whether there is any. Uh, indication of uh, wounds being homicidal, etc. Then the report is, death was due to effects of manual strangulation yeah. associated with smoothering as noted above. Now please see, manner of death, homicidal, there is a medical evidence of forceful penetration, insertion yeah. in her genitals, yeah. possibly of sexual assault. Yeah. And see, my lord, the, the FSL report. My lord, I have uh, Mark, my lord, two uh, CFS. Well, Lord, uh, seized CFS. items. Oh. Just give us that. <laughs> Even that. No, I'll, I'll just go. Oh. From you, some of the aspects which you have highlighted are the subject matter of the investigation by the CBI. So, obviously, at this stage, when CBI is looking into it, we should not be uh, but commenting on it. I appreciate present. that there was a previous FIR that lots of kindly just take two sections and give me just one minute. How do you say that there was a previous FIR? I'll explain to your lordships. Lordships will kindly take section 173 of the BNNS of the new code. It says on receipt of an information, an FIR is to be lodged. Now, what does 176.3 say? 176.3 uh -huh. of the BNS states that if an offense is above seven years and a forensic expert has to be called for, so on the receipt of an information regarding an offense, so there has to be an affair, 
without an FIR, 176, 176.3 cannot come into play. The forensic team was then the after. So they could have only been called under section 176.3. So there has to be a previous FIR because if there's no FIR, then you can't call the forensic team. It's okay. We are being led to believe that the first registration of the FIR takes place at 2330 hours. That's right. There was a previous FIR, which was there. Now, Lord Chief, also appreciate one more thing. Possibly, he says there has to be. There has to be, not there was. Possibly, as I understand him, he said there has to be a previous. The forensic team cannot come. Otherwise, forensic you can't call. One seven six eight. It has been suppressed or has been destroyed. By that, by whoever, I do not know. Yes, yes, yes. Well, would also kindly a, take the PM report once, kindly take the so look, At the same time, These we have now looked at the status report, we have looked at what has been produced by the other side. There are UD entries, one is 542, sorry, Five, GD entries, GD entries. Uh, GD entries, 542, Five. one second, 542 first. And 10 a.m., well, that is also wrong. Oh, That's a matter of, this, that is a matter of investigation. Has to be at the... That is a matter of investigation. Today, on the record that has been handed over, and CBI has also referred to it, is 542, 565, 576, and then... 565, 576, and then... 577. And 576, and 681. Then 577, that is the formal FIR. I'm not leaving the brief aside. The problem is, I'm not, we are dealing with I'm not whenever rape and murder takes place. These discrepancies energy. which you have pointed out, CBI is alive to them. And on the basis of these discrepancies, CBI's further investigation is going on. Yes, let them investigate. Take the sample. Now the, the vaginal wash, the blood had to be preserved at 4 degrees centigrade. These, these three doctors purposely did not preserve it at 4 degrees centigrade. Now that sample might be contaminated. It has to be preserved at 4 degrees centigrade. Well, if the CBI... Not the, if the, uh, the, uh, therefore, I say the that there is are... something very serious. I'll tell my lordships, in case of a rape and murder, the first five hours are crucial. Well, the first five hours is the period where you have to cordon off the area. You cannot have an ingress and outgress. Whoever wants to come, come and go, they take pictures, photographs, evidence is destroyed. And thereafter, after five days, if we enter the scene, That's why we, we asked, have our own challenges. We asked, the first question which we asked was, has the CCTV footage between 4.30 in the afternoon onwards been handed over to Yes, the it CBI? has been. They say it has been. Well, we've got no, the document of handing over. CBI has... CBI says that they have it. Let them look into the... 27 uh, minutes only, not... No, the no, 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 the entire. We've just, just handed over document. Uh, there's a little bit of a confusion on this, Mr. Solicitor. What CBI has been handed over, which you have also said, is about 23 or 27 minutes 20. of 27 minutes pertaining to the actual search operation which takes place and the inquest which thereafter has taken place. We wanted to know whether you are in possession of the complete I'll, I'll sequence I'll, 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 I'll. of the CCTV between the time that the accused leaves the hall well, and the, the document. But the the CCTV will document. only show the accused entering, etc. No, 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 no. Who else? Mr. Crucial evidence. Who else entered after the accused deadline? And and it over, dealt with the over memorandum. Audience. Look into these aspects. But, we will tell us on the next date of listing because these are obviously now that. Some leads have emerged. We'd like you to further investigate and Sir, come back to well, us. I just want to mention. Sir, only one. Can I have a word for this? Can I have a word? My Lord, may I just speak on behalf of only, the students? Only a minute, ma'am. I'll just. Yes, sure. Indicate, indicate. This will go on. Yeah.